Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. Okay, welcome back to the socket module series for networking. So we need to do, we need to look at, we need to do a lot today. So we've been looking into the sockets module, we've been digging deeper and deeper, and we've really gotten uh, down to how we're going to do it, and we are going to be using the version 4 uh, for internet protocols. So you can do this now, um, or you can do it after we get started. So you need a server.py and a client.py uh, file. But before we really get started, we need to look at, um, we're going to do host, uh, we need to talk about host, and we need to talk about port, and how in the world we're going to find the host name. So just like everything we do around here, we're going to do a micro video socket, and then get host and here's everything you can look at this I'm not going to run this uh, because it will show you my uh, my IP address so I'm not going to run that one but we're gonna get get host name but first we're going to run okay return the current uh, host name so it's just like this so we're just gonna run get get host name so socket get host name. So boom. So this is what we do. So we're gonna do this on both. So copy client paste. Then we need to host and port, right? Host equals and port equals. We're just gonna copy both these and place here. So, just like this, socket dot get host name and 5,000 or 55, I can't ever remember, 55,007. It's just an arbitrary port that we are not using. So there we go. Should have pasted this right here. So there we go. All right, so these are the... Uh, that's the host, which we're going to be doing this all, all in-house on our own system, and then this is the port that we're going to be utilizing. So, all right, we haven't, we flew right by this. So the reason why we're using two separate files is we're going to be running these independent because we're doing this on the same system. So we need to be running it as, and and it's completely legal because you have. It's it's like talking and li talking and listening at the same time. You're able to do that. Your system is able to do the same thing. So all right. So we need to have, of course, the same corresponding host and port. So let's see where we are. All right. I think this is enough for today, and we will pick back up in our next video. Then we're going to run these through Bind, and we're going to look and see what Bind does. But I th like I said, I think this is a great stopping point. And you can go ahead and now create your two files, and I will show you how we're going to run these on two separate command lines where we're going to be listening and uh, acting. So there we go. All right. As always, guys, hey, make sure you're joining uh, the Discord server down below in case you're stuck and you're writing comments and they're slipping through the cracks. That's what the server's for. And if you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and make sure you're staying tuned until the end to watch these videos. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.